Virgo, this is Soul, and Virgo, we're going to look at some energies for you starting uh, September 5th and ending on the 11th of September, Ooh, 2022, the anniversary of 9-11, uh, and also the passing of my mother. May she rest in peace. All right, so yeah, Virgo suns, moons, Virgo rising signs, singles, couples, and Virgos who are into same-sex loving energies. Um, this week, I thought I was going to use the... Um, Arcanum um, tarot deck, as I mentioned in the uh, last video that I have posted for you, but I decided to use animal cards this week, you know, to get away from the people uh, a little bit. But I do want to uh, compliment your reading with um, this new deck here, also that I received, uh, along with the um, Nothing But the Tea deck, Order in the Court. So there are some serious messages here. Um, so of course, all these cards will be in the upright position. Uh, I did have a chance to look at each card. Uh, they're very beautiful cards. They're just, you know, animals representing the, um, the tarot. All right, so let's look at some energies here for Virgo suns, moons, Virgo rising signs. Uh, I want to wish you all a happy and safe Labor Day weekend. And also uh, for those Virgos who are celebrating their birthday this week, a very happy and safe birthday celebration. All right, so energies for Virgo suns, moons, and Virgo rising signs. Oops, what are the messages for Virgo? All right, Virgo, so we're going to start the uh, card, the first card, and open up the uh, week's energy for you. And we got the uh, Ten of Wands. So, okay, the Ten of Wands is okay. I, still, with if it's animals or people, it still would be, you know, my, my busy bee. So this is the extremely busy bee type of energy. So some of you may be finding yourself, as the week opens up, just being busy, doing things, uh, Virgo, for yourself, for your family, for maybe work-related. Uh, but it's all good. The Ten of Wands is just uh, letting you know that you will have the uh, energy to accomplish anything that is uh, either slated on your plate or things that come up along the way. Ten of Wands represent fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The shadow energy is the Nine of Wands. So, of course, it's in conjunction with the Ten of Wands that you guys are going to be somewhat busy this week. So the same thing applies in terms of the messages for your shadow energy, the Nine of Wands, and that also represents uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So this is going to be a busy week for you guys, all right? So hopefully, you know, it's busy and also positive for you as well. Following the Ten of Wands, now we have the Page of Wands. See, there we go. New, good news is coming in. Page of Wands is here, and it's always a touch of surprise. This is a card of creativity, you know, starting new hobbies, uh, being passionate about starting uh, anything, not just, you know, exclusive to hobbies or creativity. It could be relationships, uh, you know, platonic, romantic, could be, you know, anything going on with your family, um, you know, your friends. Well, I did say platonic, but it could also be... Um, you know, your significant others. You know, the Page of Wands is a, the start of something new, something passionate, something creative, and, you know, it could be hobbies. So, you know, anything that you are about to start here, you'll be going to um, be passionate about that, okay? And then there's an expectation of uh, some news coming in that's going to be very, very good for some of you and it may even put a smile on your face. So that Page of Wands represents uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And so far, we're getting all fire, so I don't know if you guys have some sort of engagement with fire signs, but the energy is uh, showing up. Now we have the Seven of Pentacles. Now your own energy is here, so some of you may be focused on your work. And I always say, you know, working hard for those coins. Um, so the animals, if you haven't, you know, been able to clearly see them, in the Ten of Wands, it's fish. Look like, I don't know if it's tuna, or uh, the rainbow trout could be, this is a raven, looks like a raven to me. And then here we have a spider. Seven of Pentacles is, uh, you know, the card of options. So there could be some options opening up for you in all areas. Uh, also, someone still could be getting a pay raise. But I feel that, the, you know, the focus for some of you is going to be on your work and your income. Okay. Trying to, you know, possibly improve your income or just stay focused on, um, Money matters. 
which is not bad, which is good, okay? So the Seven of Pentacles here represents you, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Up next, uh, it gets better. See, it's the Eight of Pentacles, all right? So the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the B here, always working in that high. So this is a worker B, but that worker B is focused, but he's also, he or she is also, well, would be a he, right? Because the queen is the only one that, um, the worker bees are all males, as far as I'm I know somebody correct me because it could be females that are workers somehow I, I you know I should know it because I, I you know I study biology and that's my degree so but it's not coming to me right now anyway um, you know focused on work it's a balancing type of energy just like seven of Pentacles here it's the card of options um, money improves and you know again focusing on your money there could be some money coming in um, for some Virgos this week because it mirrors the uh, page of wands, which is good news. There's some sort of aspect of good news, but I'm going to take a look at this uh, Raven here because he's facing in the past direction. So maybe good news that you receive Virgo for something that you've done in the past or um, something related to that, uh, you know, some sort of past energy. So the Eight of Pentacles here is uh, you, uh, yeah, you Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. I'm sorry. Up next now, we have the Nine of Pentacles. See, that's that money thing. And I shuffled these cards up pretty well. So um, the Nine of Pentacles here, um, this looks like a bear. So it's all about, you know, having to, um, you know, reward yourself. It still re would be regarded as my stamina card. You know, you worked hard on something um, to keep it together. You had the stamina. You have the strength. You have the fortitude. Uh, it still could represent someone getting a substantial pay raise, you know, and or a job. It could be a promotion. I oftentimes read this Nine of Pentacles as someone having to, you know, treat themselves um, because you're deserving of some hard work and efforts that you put into uh, any situation. And that could be, you know, you working, you know, where you work, you know, putting in a lot of hours or a lot of time or dedication or devotion to your work. And now it's time for you to uh, take a step back, not feel guilty about, you know, any splurges, you know, dipping into your retirement, your 401k, treating yourself to something very, very nice because you, like I said before, are deserving of it because you have worked hard um, and this is a card of achievement. Uh, also, to the uh, Nine of Pentacles can also be, re, you know, be viewed as um, financial independence for some of you or it could just be independence in general, you know, having to be uh, uh, having the feeling that you're independent, not, you know, um, depending on anyone else to take care of your financial needs uh, is what I'm trying to say. All right. So this uh, nine of pentacles here represents you, Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn. Once again, uh, King of Swords is here. We have an owl. So this is about, you know, major decision making, um, taking action, making moves, uh, speaking your truth, gaining clarity on a situation or, you know, a person or an event. There's a lot of determination with the King of Swords. And just because it's an owl here, it still would represent all relationships of ages and genders. King of Swords here is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So there's something that you're going to do this week that's going to be, uh, for some of you, it's going to be quite major. Um, but I'm feeling that, you know, it could be um, because we have the pinnacle showing up here, maybe uh, anything related to your work, could be the hobby. Or it could be that, you know, the energy that you're going to be receiving through the um, card of the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands, it could have something to do with that. Having to, you know, make a decision, make some sort of moves, take action, and um, you will have the energy to do it, number one, okay? But whenever the King and Queen of Swords shows up here, it's about you doing something very majorly. All right, so following the King of Swords that represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, now we have the Hierophant. Hierophant, and we have mice here. Um, you're spiritually watched over. You're spiritually protected. Someone could be going back to school. Uh, this is about teaching and learning, education. I could be talking to some Virgos who are educators. You could be going back on, um, you know, going back to school in terms of a physical campus, or you could be taking up courses online. Uh, this is the card that represents marriage as well. Uh, underneath the page of wands that could have some sort of connection to some good news being received uh, through the energy of the Hierophant. Uh, so yeah, pay attention to your intuition. Um, 
Virgo is very important because this person or this Hierophant here is here to help guide you and making decisions or choices and um, you know to, you know make sure that you're making the decisions and choices to keep you on your your uh, your path here also this is on the job training for me so with all the pinnacles showing up here somebody could be training a new job uh, training a new position could be um, because of a form of a promotion uh, and so forth so we have the higher font here that represents Taurus you Virgo and Capricorn very very positive card uh, up next now we have the lovers so you've been blessed now of course the birthday season right for you guys who are celebrating the lovers is here so we know um, these are scorpions that I see here it's two of them uh, but it's seeing eye to eye with one another you know being on the same page with one another this has the energy to um, you know you know spending quality time with your romantic partners it could be your family members extended family members again with the pinnacle showing up here in full force it could be business partnerships or something related to business but everything is going to be all right here you know in the form of celebrations your birthday the lovers is here and that quality time that is spent I do feel that you know um, you know <laughs> for the birthday uh, Virgos this week you know there could be some emphasis related to gift cards money gift cards you know like those visas and MasterCards somebody you know may treat you to a visa or MasterCard uh, in the form of money all right, so the lovers here represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The lovers also mirrors the King of Swords, so taking action, major action. So it's uh, anything related to relationships, uh, but now, you know, even more so, uh, this determination here by the King of Swords is uh, striking me as going to be, you know, very positive. Maybe there's something going on within your family, within your uh, romantic partnerships, within your, um, it could be your work, and also, too, with your, you know, friendships. Uh, spiritual awareness and uh, spiritual development just to swing back here um, to the uh, higher font there could be some sort of uh, spiritual epiphanies happening for some of you this week awakening following the lovers that represents uh, yeah Gemini Libra and Aquarius now we have the chariot you have a third major arcana and this is um, I don't know I guess this would be a bovine or whatever so the chariot is here, and this is something very positive. It is the card that I associate with the star card, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. If you are traveling, is if it's work related, vacationing, you know, say passage to, say passage from. Again, with the pinnacles showing up, someone could be purchasing a car. Someone may be taking action. That's the thinking and, and taking major moves or determination. And it may be for a regular that I'm reading for. And they had already decided or thought about purchasing a new car, getting rid of the, you know, the car that's not, you know, working. Or it could be, a, you know, your first car. So let me put it out there. It's not just that, you know, I'm reading for Virgos who already own cars. It could be your very first car purchase. Also, I get, you know, car repairs, major or minor. Just don't be that Virgo that gets behind the wheel of the car. And, um, you know, disregard the speed limit because I always see this as a moving violation. But something is very, very positive that's coming your way, maybe connected to the page of wands again and, and hearing some, you know, some sort of news that'll put a smile on your face and it may be an element of a touch of surprise. All right, so the chariot here represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The other thing I want to include is social networking. Uh, because I equate this chariot oftentimes with that of the star card and the nine of cups. So social work, social networking. Uh, it could be, you know, someone could be online applying for jobs, um, looking for a different, um, you know, it could be even a change of career, building up alliances. It could be business alliances, platonic alliances, romantic alliances, whatever the uh, energy may be for you. The chariot is here. Last card we have for you is the strength card. Well, you finish off very positive here, Virgo. I like that stress card, strength card. I'm sorry. Now we have a snake here. We have a heart, and then we have a mouth. So, hmm. okay, so having the strength, feeling powerful, feeling, um, you know, very courageous. Uh, nothing is going to stop you from doing what you need to do this week. Any obstacles that come your way, you're going to overcome those obstacles. This is a card of passion, deep passion, also sexual energy, sexual expression. There is no fear um, for you this week uh, in terms of moving along. You know, you got everything 
one, two, three, four. Yeah, four major can arcanas, and they're the last ones in your spread here. Wow. So this is some dynamic energy here for you. Now, surprisingly, um, and it's not really important, and it wasn't even necessary, we didn't receive any cups, but that's okay. All right, so uh, again, uh, this is a large deck. I haven't decided how many cards I'm going to uh, toss, but this is order in the court. And uh, use these messages however you um, deem necessary, okay? And, 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 you know, I have to throw out reminders um, every now and again because, you know, these are just, you know, readings that I'm doing. It's for entertainment purposes only. Uh, take the energies, um, you know, that resonate with you and then leave the rest behind. All right, so let's see. Order in the court. What's going on here with the messages for Virgo? Uh, referring to order in the court. This is one deck. Look at how thick this damn deck is. All right, so um, in saving space here, I'm just going to plug from the top after the shuffle here. Um, this is just a message. You can take it however you want. It's a message here. The gig is up. Game over. Um, let's toss another one. The East... Eastern, so that may mean some sort of significance for some of you, especially because we have the chariot here. So one may be heading east or going eastern. Um, this one here says attention, teamwork, do your part. It says do your part and let your spirit team do the rest. All right, let me just read the shadow here. I think that's all I'm going to um, draw. And interestingly enough, the zodiac sign Aquarius shows up here. So I don't know if that is an indication that some of you are in relationships with Aquarius. There could be Aquarius that is uh, interested in you, Virgo. And it's all to, you know, since this is an open general reading, this could be family members. But the Aquarius energy is uh, showing up and is dominant. So there may be some type of energy and uh, possibly throughout this upcoming week that there's some sort of exchange or interactions with an Aquarius. However, that energy may open up. And that's what I have for you, um, Virgo, this week. You know, I want to make this energy plain and simple and understandable. Please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Also, you know, whatever you do, just do it safely. Be well. Those Virgos who are enjoying their birthdays, once again, please enjoy your birthday. Be happy and uh, definitely be safe. And I'll talk to you soon. Keep smiling for me, Virgo. Bye.